All right, welcome back to the channel. Uh, for me, like most of you guys in Ohio, we only get one tag, so my turkey season's over. But as soon as turkey season starts, first thing on my mind is turkey season because I love to turkey hunt. So start looking around because the only piece of equipment that I really have that I wasn't really 100% happy with was my turkey vest. Which, don't get me wrong, the vest that I had was this one right here. It's an H&S strut. For the money I paid for this thing, it was a great turkey vest. This right here is what I found to be my problem. Because when I shouldered my gun, these things just got in the way, so I had to tighten it up pretty quick, or pretty close together, to get it right in here. So it was easier to shoulder the gun. And, like my strikers would make noise, and the vest because there wasn't any striker pockets. So it's basically a bunch of this mesh stuff inside the big pockets. Which, like I said, for the money, this thing, it's a great vest. I think I probably paid $40 for this thing a couple years ago. It's got a great seat on it. It's it's a good vest. Um, that being said, I started looking around. I watched some of the uh, National Wild Turkey Federation, their um, their convention down there where they had a bunch of the gear, and I seen that Scent Blocker came out with a new um, their new line, but got on there looking at that, they wanted one hundred and thirty dollars for that vest. Now I don't know about you guys, but I got a family and kids and stuff, and can't really spend one hundred and thirty dollars on a turkey vest, you know. So what I did was I found this one. This is the um, Finisher Pro Two in New Bottomland, which is the same camo I hunted. So I found this guy. It was, I think, 40 or 60% off. I'm not sure. I think it was 40% off. And it was priced for 100 bucks. I paid $60 for this thing. The reason I decided to go with this one is because there's no straps on the shoulders. It came with quite a bit thicker cushion that also has like the waterproofing on the bottom. It's got a little back pad in it, which the other one did not have. And it's got full of holes and stuff, so that's very breathable. This one had a better box call pocket, better slate pockets. It also has a place over here for your strikers and your mouth calls, which the other one had two places for the mouth calls, but this one, I don't have to carry any kind of plastic with it. I can just put the mouth calls in the sleeve, which is pretty cool. And these uh, chest pockets fit my cell phone really well. The only complaint I really have about this vest is the shell holders. I have with a 20 gauge. These things are made for a 12 gauge, obviously, because the 20 gauge shell, it'll hold them in there, but they, they drop down into the sleeve. So other than that, I mean, that's really the only complaint I got. But for $60, I couldn't beat it. With all the mesh, how breathable it is. It's the same pattern of camo that I wear anyway. Which, I mean, mixing camo doesn't really matter when it comes to turkey hunting, I mean. But the only thing different on the new line, and this line, is that guy right there. They got a turkey track on the new one. On this line, they've got the regular old scent blocker. With the buck on there. So, and this one does have a safety flag just like the other one. This one's just a lot smaller. That's another thing I didn't really, I had a lot of public, so I, I, I could go for a better safety flag. But, you know, it's something I can deal with. Like I said, nothing against the guys who are spending $300 on a turkey vest. But me personally, I got a family, I got kids. I'm not going to spend $300 on a turkey vest. If I'm going to spend $300, i got other ways I could do that. But I think that's what we're going to go with for the next season. And uh, I might even buy a fall tag this year, but we'll see. If you guys like the video, subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one.